I'm Lisa Stone. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Parenting Aces. I'm so glad you decided to join us again for this week's episode of the Parenting Aces podcast coming at you from Atlanta, Georgia. We have a great show this week with recent Kalamazoo Boys 18's champion Patrick Kipson and his buddy Trent Bride joining us. They are fresh off their week in Kalamazoo, and I am fresh off my weekend in Baltimore at the Saul Schwartz Save College Tennis All-In Tournament. And thank you to everybody who came out to support that event. We had another phenomenal tournament with 50 players and gobs and gobs of fans and supporters out there uh, showing their respect for Saul and his work to save college tennis. So I appreciate everybody who pitched in to make this another wonderful tournament for the kids and for Saul's family. But back to this week's guest, Patrick and Trent, who have decided to kind of spread their wings a little bit beyond their tennis careers and have tapped into their entrepreneurial side to create a new program called Tennis Mentors, where they are working with junior players to help them out, help them figure out tournament schedules, uh, provide hitting opportunities, and help guide them in whatever manner they may need. And so I think it's pretty cool that these two young players have seen a need for players coming up behind them to have more experienced players there to answer questions and provide support and have kind of jumped on this and created a website and a business plan behind it. So I won't give too much away, but I do want to congratulate Patrick on his title in Kalamazoo, and I know we all wish him the best with his wild card opportunity at this year's U.S. Open. He also played doubles at Kalamazoo with Oliver Crawford. They were the two seeds, and got to the double uh, doubles finals. So that was pretty awesome. Patrick had a phenomenal week at Kalamazoo. Trent didn't do too shabby either. He was the three seed in singles, uh, lost in the fourth round there. And he and his partner, Brian Chernock, who were the eight seeds in doubles, lost in the second round in that event. But great week to both boys. And uh, I'm going to be quiet now and let you hear from them. Enjoy. I'm so excited to be chatting with Trent Bride and Patrick Kipson. They are at Kalamazoo as we speak, waiting to play their first round matches tomorrow. They're both seeded. Uh, Patrick is the two seed and Trent's the three seed in the boys 18 singles. And uh, so they've got a great week of tennis ahead. By the time this episode airs, though, the tournament will be over, so I'll be able to talk a little bit about your results. But, boys, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. So I want to start with Trent. Trent, um, you know, I've interviewed you a couple times in the past, and so my listeners are probably pretty familiar with your name, but... Why don't you go ahead and give us a little information on how you got started playing tennis, where you're from, and who's coaching you these days? Yeah, so uh, um, my name's Trent Bride. I'm 17 years old. Um, I've been playing tennis since I was five years old. Um, It all started, um, my dad used to be the director of a country club called the Standard Club. And uh, he, he kind of got me out and got me started into tennis and uh, started coaching me, teaching me the basics, and I uh, just loved it ever since. Um, and then um, me and a couple of buddies have kind of got together, and, you know, we had a good idea to maybe kind of give back um, and uh, try and teach uh, young kids um, through our experiences because we feel that... Um, you know, we've gone through so much and that it, it was, there's so many things that we had to figure out that we could maybe make it even easier on some uh, some juniors so that the process can go easier for them and we can just teach them, uh, you know, basically just our experiences and uh, and uh, give them the, uh, the insight on uh, what it takes to, to reach the highest level possible of uh, junior tennis. And obviously, you have reached a pretty high level. You're playing at Kalamazoo. You got a wild card into an ATP 250 event in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. 
and I know you play internationally. So you are you are giving advice from a place of experience and knowledge. Yes, exactly. So yeah, I've, I've uh, um, so far, um, it's not only even um, just what we've been through, but also since um, all four of us are kind of transitioning to the uh, to the pro circuit. Um, so we also kind of kind of give them a rundown on our journey currently, um, on what we're going through currently to transition to the pros, if that's what the kids are aspiring to do as well. So there's a variety of things we offer, and uh, we really feel it's very beneficial for all the kids. Cool. And Patrick, tell us a little bit about you and your background. Yeah, so I'm, um, my name is Patrick. I'm 17 years old. I come from Greenville, North Carolina, which is a small, small city about an hour and a half east of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I started tennis when I was about six years old um, at a small, small club with about six courts in Greenville. I was actually training with um, Tommy Paul, um, another, another kid who was a good, great junior, and now he's having a good pro career. Um, so I trained with him. His stepdad was actually my first tennis coach, um, so a little bit of a small world there. Um, and yeah, basically, um, you know, I've played a lot of tennis over my over my short career so far. And I think, um, like Trent, that we've got a lot of you know information and stuff like that to help get back to younger kids who kind of want to be in the spot we're in. Um, so I think you know Trent had a great idea and. He got me and, you know, a couple other guys to get on board with it. And um, I think we're going to do really well, and I'm excited. So this great idea that the two of you keep alluding to is TennisMentors.net, and it's a mentoring site and program where the two of you and a couple other players, um, I'm just looking at your website now, it looks like Gianni Ross is part of this, Sam Riffis is part of this, So four very experienced high-level junior players have kind of band together to give back to the game and give back to younger players. And I love this idea. It sounds like what you guys are doing for the players themselves is kind of similar to what Parenting Aces has tried to do for the parents. And I, I I think this is something that tennis really needs. So kudos to you guys. Thank you. We appreciate that. So tell me exactly what it means for a junior player to sign up and be part of Tennis Mentors. Yes, so basically um, we have a number of offerings. Um, first, you can kind of book a 30-minute uh, a phone call. Um, basically with that, we can offer, you know, advice on tournament schedule, fitness plan, nutrition, also, just give our insight again on uh, you know all the things we've gone through and what it what it takes, and uh, get some information about the player. Um, uh, so that's kind of our first offering. Uh, we also have a uh, a personal hit. So if you're within the area uh, of uh, any of our mentors, um, you can purchase a hit through us. Um, you can uh, either purchase a 30 minute hit or an hour hit. We also have a, uh, a full match video analysis. So if there's any kids that uh, have a full video of their match or want to video one of their full matches, you send it in to us. We'll analyze the whole thing. We'll give them a phone call, talk to them, you know, about how they're feeling in certain moments, uh, you know, some basic pointers about the match and, you know, how they can correct uh, what they're doing and how they're feeling on the court. Um, coming firsthand from us, us players who are always on the court, we know how it feels uh, at certain moments, so we can relate a lot with full match video analysis. Uh, we also have technique video analysis, so if you just send us a video of uh, uh, a stroke or all of your strokes, we can um, uh, reply with a, a, an email, just kind of giving some pointers on what we see. Um, you know, it helps to prevent injuries and and uh, have smoother, smoother contact with the ball and uh, all that. So those are those are kind of our main offerings. Now, if you get a, uh, you can also sign up for a subscription, 
which is uh, 20, $25 a month unless you purchase six months or 12 months, then there's a discount. Um, and with that, it's basically all the same offerings, uh, except they are cheaper, yeah. they're discounted, and um, we also offer, uh, within the subscription, uh, pre-post match call. So if someone wants to talk to us before the match, you know, how they're feeling and how we can kind of, you know, put them in a good state of mind before their match, uh, as well as after the match where um, we can kind of talk to them uh, about pointers, um, how they felt during the match, and, you know, uh, and how we can improve from that. And um, we also have a, a blog that we're setting up uh, that uh, just kind of gives uh, gives the kids insight on on our journey. Um, so, like, if we're if we're at tournaments, uh, we just uh, throw up something on the blog. Anything, you know. Uh, had a great day of practice. Uh, here's a picture of me with uh, Novak Djokovic or something like that. You know, we just throw on the blog and just kind of kind of explain our practices and what we're doing, you know, on a day-to-day basis and uh, at each tournament. So, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of offerings, and uh, we really feel with all the offerings that uh, we can really help a bunch of kids get to the next level of their game. So let me ask you in terms – I'm I'm going through your website as you, as you talk about all of these different aspects of what you're offering as mentors. Um, during the, the personal hitting sessions – is that just, you know, just hitting back and forth so that maybe the junior can kind of see how their game stacks up to somebody at your level and, you know, what they need to do, kind of identify some areas of their game that need improvement if they're going to reach the levels that you're at? Or is it instructional time or is it a combination of those things? Maybe you can give us a little more detail there. Right. Right. So in a, in a personal hit, um, you know, the main thing is we kind of want to different, differentiate ourselves from the main thing of coaching. We kind of want to show the kid, um, you know, our level of game, but we also want to kind of see what they need to work on because um, we can we still see some things, um, some basic things that they can work on. So during a personal hit, not only can you, you know, pick our brain, ask us questions, uh, but we also just kind of kind of hit with you. It's not like a, we're feeding drills and stuff like that. You know, we're hitting with them and kind of working on a couple little things that we see. And then maybe even uh, after the hit, communicating with their coaches. We're not we're not necessarily a, a full on full time coach for the player, so we're here to work with their coaches and uh, just kind of kind of give our uh, our two cents on everything because uh, we feel that that can be very beneficial if the kid kind of has a a group of people trying to get him get him uh, to the next level. So, so it's not really just um, uh, just coaching um, or just hitting you know down the middle for an hour. It's, it's a lot more to that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a little bit of everything. You know, picking our brain and, and doing a couple drills that we feel that can improve. And then the more and more hits, the more we get to know you know what they need to work on, and we feel their game out a little bit more, and we can work on a little more. So that's kind of the overall uh, basis of a uh, a personal hit. Gotcha. Patrick, you mentioned that you came up with Tommy Paul. I'm curious, did he act in a mentoring type of role with you as you were coming up? Because he's a a few years ahead of you. Yeah, I've known known Tommy since, like I said, since I was six or seven years old. and um, I was real close to Tommy and Tommy's sister and Tommy's stepdad, you know, when I'm home, I still still go to that club and I still, you know, hang out with his stepdad and, you know, kind of just hang out at his stepdad's club. So uh, me and Tommy are quite close. And um, I think Tommy, you know, he showed me basically what it, you know, what it took to become good. You know, he was always on the court uh, working on different things. Um, So from that perspective, you know, he really showed me you know, on the court, what it takes. And also, he's, you know, just a great friend of mine. So um, he's helped me out a little bit you know, through some rough patches. And he's kind of told me, you know, what, what's good and what he thinks, you know, is probably not not good. So he's been a huge, huge factor in my development as well. 
And so as you guys become now mentors for the younger kids coming up behind you, um, what kind of obligation do you feel to give back to the game? I'm just I'm curious because there's a lot of discussion around the top pro players, you know, and what is their responsibility to give back to tennis, you know, since they've made a living from it. You guys aren't to the point where you're making a living yet. Hopefully you will be shortly. Right. But um, but at this point, you know, what what do you feel your responsibility is toward the game as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel that at Tennis Mentors we're going to be very personalized. Um, so I feel like we're going to really build a connection between you know, the mentors and the players. So I think it's going to be, you know, speaking a lot and hopefully doing a lot of things to to help them, you know, if that's what they want. Um, But for sure, we're going to be very personalized. I just feel that, um, you know, obviously we're not the best four players in the world, no, but I think, um, you know, that we've done a good job over our short careers and that we kind of, you know, understand the do's and do nots, the basic do's and do nots of, you know, what to do, what not to do. So um, I think that we can really help those kids. And I feel that, you know, we need to give back to the game, and we also want to give back to the game. You know, I think all all four of us really, you know, we love the game a lot. And, um, you know, that's one way to, to just show appreciation for what the sport's done for us. And that's awesome. Are all four of you on track to go pro at the end of your junior career? So (laughs) me, uh, Johnny, and Patrick are still undecided. Um, Me and and Patrick uh, and Sam are all rising seniors, but Sam is committed to the University of Florida. So one thing that's good for Sam is that he can also offer to the kids um, you know, kids that, you know, just aspire to go to college tennis, which is great. You know, Sam can kind of run, run through them, uh, the process of, uh, of, uh, the getting into a D1 school, uh, and what they're, what the D1 schools are looking for and, uh, the process that it takes to, you know, get into college. So I think that's one thing that, uh, you know, Sam has over us because he's kind of a step ahead, uh, since he's already committed to a college. So, um, so for Sam, that, that's great, and uh, me, me, Patrick, and Johnny are just still undecided right now um, uh, of what what we're gonna do. Gotcha. And and the three of you, um, you said I'm sorry. You have one more year in juniors, is that right? Well, in uh, in the junior ITF, this is all of our last years. Uh, so at okay. the end of uh, end of December, we're we're done with uh, with juniors. Um, and then we just kind of have to start the, uh, pro circuit. Um, and, um, and yeah, so, so we, so far, you know, I think we've had a great junior career, but yeah, we're, we're looking forward to starting our, our, uh, pro career and, um, Thanks. whatever happens there, then, then we'll make our, our decision. So in terms of customers for tennis mentors, who is your ideal customer? Um, you know, our market is mainly, you know, any ages, uh, that are young and, uh, uh, you know, between any age young up to, you know, probably 16 or even our age, we don't mind any age. Um, some, sometimes there's some kids that maybe don't want to, don't want to hear from us if, if they're the same age or something. So, you know, our main market is kind of any, any age that's younger than us, uh, we feel gotcha. like kind of, kind of help them. Uh, uh, just because it's, it's our path that we're, that we're mainly trying to, trying to provide to them and our mistakes that we've made so that they don't make the same mistake. Um, and that they can just kind of improve from there. So, so mainly just our, our market is kind of just anyone younger than that, than, than us. Got it. And are you working, cause it's four guys, uh, so far, are you looking to, add girls to your mentor group or are you sticking just to the boys? Yes, that's a great question actually. So we're we're very open to actually working with girls currently. Um eventually I'm I'm gonna try and once once it grows, um 
we're eventually going to get some girl mentors. I've already talked to a couple couple girls that are interested that are, you know, kind of our level on the junior circuit as well. Um, so we're going to try and get them involved eventually uh, once it just grows a little bit. And um, so, yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely looking into that for, for the girls' side. Can you talk a little bit about the business piece of this? Um, you know, you guys have a website. Um, it's an e-commerce site. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the shopping cart on there. Uh, so who helped you out with that piece of it, or does one of you have those skills as well? Yes, yeah, so um, uh, my dad actually owns a uh, landscaping business. So being the owner of a business, he's kind of kind of helped me and, and guided me through um, – through uh, starting a business, uh, you know, just little things like getting getting it approved, uh, getting the LLC, uh, starting the website and all that. And uh, my sister actually just uh, graduated uh, college, so uh, and she's really good with computer stuff, so she kind of helped me um, with the website. Uh, we kind of, uh, we did a, uh, a Wix uh, subscription. The, so they kind of just provided us with a template, and we kind of edited from there. Um, so my sister was my sister and my dad have been a huge help to this. Uh, any questions? You know, I've done a, I've done a lot, uh, and we've done a lot as a team with the mentors. But um, any questions I've had, uh, it's always been to my sister and my dad, and they've been a huge help so far with starting my business and continuing just to help me run the business. And uh, and yeah. And that's fantastic. And and we should mention that your sister Carly played college tennis for Furman and had a great four year college tennis career there and, and it's cool to see her kind of staying involved with helping you with um with tennis mentors. That's very nice. Yep. For sure, yeah. It's been it's been great to, to have her around now. So yeah, it's been Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, she she's a great young woman. I I really like her a lot. She's always very sweet when I see her. So um, you'll have to tell her I said hello. Yeah. So Trent, I saw on your website that you guys have a partner, and I'm curious how that whole partnership came to be, and how you chose your partner, and if there'll be more in the future. Right. So so uh, it all started. Uh, uh, so first, my partner is uh, Harp Performance Tennis. Uh, Jim Harp runs that program in Cumming, Cumming, Georgia, and um, it kind of started, I was actually in my neighborhood hitting with a friend, and I saw, uh, you know, a young kid that I thought would be perfect for tennis mentors, so I went up to his parents, uh, gave him my card, and I had a, they were really interested, I had a great hit with the, with the kid, and uh, he was actually a student of Harp Performance Tennis, and um uh, so then, uh, Jim Harp ended up, uh, getting in contact with me because he really, he heard about it and really liked the idea as well. So, you know, uh, he told me to come over to his club, uh, and we talked for a bit. He, you know, he helps me a lot with the, with the website, uh, and like some adjustments he thought I could make. And, uh, he's actually been a, a great help to the website. And, uh, so yeah, we, we started to, uh, partner together, uh, so that I can, you know, work with his kids as well. Um, and, yeah, there, there's a potential uh, potential partnerships with other with other uh, academies to kind of do the same thing and, you know, work, work with their kids. Um, uh, I, as we feel, that's going to be a great idea for, for some programs that, uh, that, you know, they can offer more, like, tennis mentors to, to their program. Um, so, yeah, that's the... That's kind of the deal with the with the partnerships, and we're really proud to be uh, partnered with Hard Performance Tennis. They've been a great help so far. I think you picked a great first partner. I have a lot of respect for Jim as a coach and as a person, and um, I know he's he's working yeah, with some fantastic families. So yeah, that's fantastic. Good for y'all. Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about kind of your philosophy as a group of mentors. Have y'all gotten together, the four of you so far, and kind of come up with a game plan for the types of advice you want to be offering and 
you know, what you're hoping each to achieve with this. I mean, obviously it's a business and you're charging for, for subscriptions and, and for the hits and for the phone calls and things like that. So there's the business side where obviously you're in this to, you know, to establish a business and make some money. But at the same time, I'm guessing, you know, maybe there's some philosophy behind why the four of you decided that you're the ones to do this together and, you know, maybe what you have in common or how you feel like the four of you can complement each other out there. Right. So basically, you know, when, when we're all on the road together, me, Trent, Sam, and Gianni, you know, sometimes we, when we're on the road, we don't have a a coach with us all the time. Um, So I think we help each other out a lot when we're on the road. You know, if I'm hitting with Trent and I see something with Trent, I'm going to tell Trent, hey, you know, why don't you work on, why don't you do this? You know, just try to help help each other out a lot. I feel, you know, tennis is, is an individual sport, 100%, but I feel that, you know, to some point you can have, you can make it a little bit about a team and you can, you know, try to make each other better. Um so I think that's how the idea really got started was like, hey, you know, if we can help each other, then why don't we help uh, some young kids who, you know, aspire to be as good as we are in the juniors. Um, so I feel like that was a big a big piece of the puzzle there was just, you know, we realized that we help each other, so let's try to help some other kids. Do you feel like you'll all kind of come at this from the same place? And And I guess what I'm asking is, You know, do you feel like there are certain pieces of information that young juniors really have to have in order to get to this top level that you guys have reached? Yeah, I mean, so I think, you know, one of the things that, you know, all the mentors, the tennis mentors have is I feel we all have a really great IQ, tennis IQ. So we might not be the best tennis players in the world yet, you know, but I feel that our IQ on the court is very high and that we can sense stuff um, just because we've played for so long. Um, so I think that's one thing that, you know, all the mentors acquire. I think um, that there is some information that, you know, a lot of kids need to have. You know, I think a big part of it is, you know, do I, do I play tournaments when I'm real young and do I play a lot of tournaments and play a lot of matches or do I work on developing my game? I think that's a good question that, you know, a lot of a lot of kids and a lot of parents have. And I feel, you know, all of us, you know, the, the four mentors, we all feel the same way about pretty much everything. So every, every kid we talk to, you're going to get, you know, the same thing from, from us, you know, the same views. So it's not like, you know, I'm telling you one thing and, you know, Trent or whoever else is telling you a different thing. No, it's it's all very similar. Um, obviously, there's a little bit more specifics than that, but, yeah, I think that's one thing that we can really help with. If somebody is interested in subscribing or just signing up for a call or a hit, what are the factors that they should – be looking at as they read your bios on your website to try to determine which one of you is the right one to work with? I mean, other than geography, because that's kind of a given, you know, if, some, if one right. of you is in the same yeah. town, that's yeah. that's an easy one, but. Right, right. Um, I, so I think basically that, um, you know, if you read our bios, we kind of explain a little bit about ourselves. And um, one thing that, we feel strongly about is that, you know, sometimes the the regular coaches aren't really personally connected with the player. So I think, you know, all of us, all of us have that. Um, we really want to be, you know, connected with the players that we work with at Tennis Mentors. Um, as far as choosing a mentor, I think that's just kind of, you know, if you're a young kid and you're from, you know, North Carolina, maybe you're going to pick me just because, you know, maybe you've heard of me coming from North Carolina. Same thing for all the other mentors. You know, I think basically, I mean, every, you know, obviously they're all going to be great and, you know, they're going to try to make you better. Um, but yeah, I think there's, there's no real, there's no real answer to that question. Um, 
it's just kind of, you know, personal preference. It's basically like, you know, how do I choose a coach? You kind of got to try different coaches to see which one you work best with. So that's kind of how it's going to be um, at Tennis Mentors. So in along those same lines, then, um, if somebody, let's say, chooses you, Patrick, and then they feel like they haven't really got that connection with you, how would they go about uh, saying, you know, hey, this isn't really what I'm looking for. Can I talk to Trent instead? Mm-hmm. Or can I talk to Sam instead? Right. So basically, you know, we want to be on that personal level with, you know, our players um, where we can communicate first name basis. You know, we can really tell each other, you know, how it feels. Because I think that's one of the things that sets us apart from everything else is the fact that, we're personal, and, you know, we really, you know, we're just barely older than you, and we can really tell you how things work. So, you know, I think if, if our players, you know, want to have a different set of – or a different mentor, then they just need to communicate that with, that with us, you know. So if, if you don't like the way that, you know, I'm kind of explaining things and doing things, then you could say, you know, maybe I think I'd like to try Trent or, you know, Gianni or Sam. So I think it's just going to be – you know, a personal thing. Right. And I want to point out to my listeners that, Patrick, just use the word communication again. And this seems to just keep popping up in the Parenting Aces podcast conversations, the importance of communicating clearly what you need, what you expect, what you want. And it's it's a prevalent piece of having a successful mentoring relationship as well. Right, Patrick? Right, 100%. You know, I think that's that's one of the biggest things that that lacks really. I feel sometimes between the players and the coaches because you know a lot of coaches they just want to you know do the lesson, get it over with, move on to the next one. And I feel that you know that's where we're you know again personal. We want to communicate well with our players. Yeah, I think that's really important. And you know, can can you touch on? whether or not you'll be working with these younger players on how to communicate clearly with their parents, what they need from their parents, you know, when they're at a tournament, what, what role they want their parents to play. Because I think for us, for parents, oftentimes we do things thinking that we're helping, and oftentimes it turns out we're really not. Right. Yeah, so, you know, again, that's where the player, I feel if the player, you know, wants something different, changed with his setup or anything like that, you know, that's where he can communicate with us again because I feel that that's the kind of connections we're going to have at Tennis Mentors. Um, so, again, it's, it's all about really communicating, um, for you know, for us, for all four of us, really. We're huge on communication. We feel that, you know, if there's no communication between the player and the coach, then it's going to be a rough ride. But we feel that, you know, if, if the people connect well and the communication is good and the player is happy, that's another main thing. You know, when players are happy, they play their best tennis. So, you know, keeping that balance is is what we're really trying to do as well. Great. Will y'all be offering advice on things like appropriate racket choices, string tension, uh, other equipment, and also things like off-court training? Yes. Yeah, so we kind of we kind of offer any any kind of questions that they have. Um, you know, obviously we all we all have personalized opinions about you know our rocket brands and, and what we like to do, but um, we'll definitely give our, our two cents on that um, as it's very important to pick the right racket for you. And, um, yeah, we also, uh, we all work with um, our own, you know, personal fitness coaches, so we, we have a good idea on what uh, what what the player needs, uh, especially depending on their age, weight, and height. So, you know, just with that basic information, we can come up with a, a basic plan uh, for each individual player, uh, in order that they can get a uh, get the most out of their out of their uh, uh, fitness. 
So uh, we think that's very important as well, just to pick our brains on that. Um, so, yeah, those, those things are, are really important to talk with us about. It's interesting because we often talk about the triad in tennis, the coach, the parent, and the player. And I'm wondering where do you all see yourselves fitting into that triad as a mentor? What, you know, do you, yeah. do you fall, which side of that triangle do you fall on? Right. So, so we're, our, our main thing isn't replacing anyone in the, in the triad. You know, it's more of kind of being an added member. So, uh, we think, we think that we can kind of, kind of make this a big thing that we can just be an added member to the team. And we can, you know, advise, you know, the parents uh, on what, how they should, you know, basically what you're doing, like telling, you know, how the parents should be. And, and same with the coaches, you know, kind of kind of talking to the coaches and, uh, and uh, giving them our two cents. Uh, we're not trying to butt in and, and uh, take the players away from the coaches. Um, we believe the coach and kids relationship is very important, and we're we're not a full time coach. We're just a, we're just trying to uh, give our our sense and uh, and help the kids. So so you know we want we want the the parents and the and the coaches to communicate with us uh, just as much as the players, so that uh, we can we can all get the most out of it. Fantastic. So if somebody is interested in working with you guys, what what are the steps they need to take? Yeah, so, I mean, basically just log on our website, you know, make sure you look through everything. Uh, we really recommend uh, the subscription so that if you're, if you're really interested, you can uh, uh, talk to us multiple times. Uh, you know, if, if you just want to kind of talk to us once, uh, then, then we don't recommend doing the subscription. Just kind of talk to us once and see what we're about. We can, you can even try us out. And uh, if you like us and think it can be really beneficial, you know, su- subscribing is the best thing for you. Um, we think that's just really important. Uh, and so, yeah, just go on the website, look everything over, and uh, see see what you think uh, will personally help you the most. And uh, we think we have all the offerings that can help. So, yeah, just, just look through it uh, thoroughly. And is there a limit to the number of kids that y'all can work with at any one time? Have y'all, I mean, I guess you're still kind of new, so yeah. maybe that hasn't really right. come up yet, but. Right. So, yeah, we, we that uh, that could end up uh, being an issue, but we, we plan, we actually have uh, a couple other guys that we plan on maybe bringing on board once we start growing. Uh, so, you know, a couple guys that are our level uh, as mentors, we really feel um, that can help as well. Um, so we already have them on the side, you know, if we, if we start growing and growing and the workload becomes too much that we can add them on board. Um, and we're going to make sure everyone's fully qualified, that uh, that they can they can handle, you know, the right things of being a mentor and can show that they can improve uh, the younger generation. So... So yeah, if the workload gets a little bigger, we have a uh, we have uh, some mentors that we can add on. But for right now, you know, it's really good that we just have us four um, as we, as we're in business. Will you be offering like a certification to players that want to become mentors? I, I'm just thinking. I used to run a fitness business, and right. and I used to certify yeah, so, instructors, and I had to train them. Yeah. Right. So so no, there's not really a. Uh, a way anyone can be a mentor. It's it's kind of I pick I can go out and kinda of, kinda of talk to some guys and I, I feel who are qualified for it. Um there are some people that are level but I just feel that they aren't qualified and able to uh able to improve the next generation. So, you know, you can't um you can't become a mentor. Uh we kinda of keep it exclusive to to top players. Um so as we expand, it's just going to be an exclusive amount of mentors. There's no way to really um, to become a mentor. So if somebody's interested in in joining your mentoring team, um, should they reach out to you? I mean, I, I suspect you guys, between the four of you, you pretty much know all the top players around. So if somebody came yeah. to you and said, hey, you know, this is something I'm interested in doing, I think I could be good, um, Mm-hmm. What would be the process for them? Right. So, 
so as um it wouldn't we out right now i would say you know we're kind of just doing us for right now but as we grow we'd love to we'd love to uh get some more info and uh you know for with all the guys i had to do you know some rundowns on phone calls and kind of uh, a little bit of training to make sure that you know they're speaking well with everyone and and making sure that each kid is getting the most out of all the phone calls or analysis is and and all that stuff. So um yeah, you know, if if someone approaches me and I think that they'd be a decent fit, they'll still have to go through all the uh all the training uh that needs to be done. And uh if I feel at the end of the training that they're good and that they'll work really well with the kids and uh create great relationships then I think they'll be uh they'll be on board with us. Cool. Very cool. So I'm going to switch gears for a minute. And Patrick, I know you probably have to run if you're, are you even still on the call? (laughs) I don't even know if you're still with us. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm still here. Okay. Okay, good. So you guys have Kalamazoo this week. And obviously the goal at Kalamazoo is to win and get the wild card into the U.S. Open. Both of you boys are positioned very well to take that top prize. Um, it, obviously, both of you can't win it. Although I guess you could, right. one could win in singles and one in doubles. But um, so, what's next what's after next? Kalamazoo? Um, so yeah, basically after Kalamazoo, um, I think Trent. Trent, your plan is to play College Park, right? So I think Trent's going to go to Washington uh-huh. D.C. or you know that area and play a Grade One ITF Junior, um, and then. I think I'm going to skip that one and kind of just do some training um, those weeks just to prepare for U.S. Open, and then we'll both meet up again at U.S. Open. Um, Is so the really plan right now for you to, both to play juniors? Yes. I mean, the plan now is definitely both juniors, and you know, hopefully, um, obviously, depending on how we do here, you know, trying to get into the into the men's draw, either qualities, main, um, you know, whatever, doubles. So, um, that's the plan. If if we can get into the men's, then that'll be a great bonus. But uh, for sure, it'll be there for the juniors. Awesome. Well, I look forward to seeing you both play there. I'll be there the second week of the Open, and so um, I look forward to seeing you both. But uh, I wish you all the best in Kalamazoo and with tennis mentors. And I, I I'm going to really keep an eye on this. I think it's such a brilliant idea, and you know this whole idea of mentoring. Again, it's, you know, it's something I've tried to do with Parenting Aces. It's something that I talk about with the college coaches, you know, that they need to mentor one another, and um, many of them do a great job with that. And to now have the opportunity for the junior players to reach out to you guys as kind of that that step ahead of where they are and have you as their mentors, I mean, that's just, it's brilliant. So, Kudos. Well done, boys. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And I will let you all get back to your practice. Wishing you all the best at Kalamazoo and hope the weather holds out for you. And, uh, again, look forward to seeing you up in New York. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you for having us on the podcast. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed hearing from Patrick and Trent this week. We were just so pleased to have them, and I think they have some great advice to offer. So I hope you'll be sure to check out their website, TennisMentors.com. Of course, the link to their site will be in the show notes. So check those out on iTunes or Stitcher or iHeartRadio or wherever you like to consume your podcasts. And as usual, we always appreciate ratings and reviews if you enjoyed what you heard. It helps us get new listeners and helps our numbers. So we we truly appreciate you taking the time to do that. We are also seeking out sponsors for the Parenting Aces podcast. So if you're interested, please reach out to me. You can get me via email at lisa at parentingaces.com. And uh, I'll tell you what I've got in mind. And let's see if we can find a way to work together. That's it for this week's episode. We will see you next time on Parenting Aces. I'm Lisa Stone, and you've been listening to the Parenting Aces podcast. For tennis parents, by a tennis parent. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to us and write a review on iTunes. 
For more information on navigating the junior and college tennis journey, visit us online at parentingaces.com. As always, a huge thank you to our sponsor, tennisballs.com.